The blunts of the apostles and the elders and great most of them well. Salutations to the whole for the elect of the Akim to the Dakim that do this thing in their most truth and sincerity. I'm the preacher Mon. Um, this week's topic is untitled, What the Hell is Going On? I guess part two or visited. And what is what is inspiring the show is what is going on now with this um, Russian Ukraine crisis. It's very similar uh, to a lesson I, I did back in 2020 called What the Hell is Going On uh, when the uh, pandemic crisis was at its peak. And the lesson brought out uh, some points that it's not, it wasn't about health and safety or any type of stuff, 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 stuff like that, the whole pandemic thing, but it was about a wealth transfer. And then I pulled up uh, images on screen showing how, you know, they had certain stock prices of U.S. stocks. They drove them the hell down. Uh, the market bottomed out, like when, I don't know, it was like 5,000 cases. And sure enough, it went up to like 500,000 cases, but the market ripped up, right? So it was a giant wealth transfer, and that's sort of pretty much evident now in the fact in New York that they're lifting uh, mass mandates, different sort of mandates to try to pretty much reserve things back to normal after they wiped everybody out, right? And this is very similar to what I see now with Russia, right? Because if you you know you look at Russian certain Russian companies, Russian stocks, Luke Oil, uh, Russian ETFs like the RUSL, they fell pretty much ninety percent. So they're moving like how the U.S. stocks are moving back in the, the 2020 uh, situ crisis, right? And then the same way vaccine stocks were ripping up, now you have war stocks ripping up. Companies such as Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, right? Um, they stand to profit when there is war, right? You just watch the movie. If you watch the movie War Dog, it pretty much show you how it works, right? They're just interested in getting huge contracts. They don't care what pretty much happened with the equipment, right? Um... So you gotta ask yourself, would the would the so-called white man um, destroy thousands and thousands, of, if not millions, of lives um, for some money? He will, you know, definitely will. There's a lot of disinformation. It's, it's just stuff that's not inconsistent about what they're showing, right? And that's just to leave people in a state of confusion. When the pandemic happened, I, I, you know, I was doing the uh, ride share. I had people coming in a car uh, with. Damn near look like fucking body suits on, telling me to pull all the windows up. Then the next person would come in telling me to pull all the windows down. It was a complete state of confusion. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. And this is what the so-called white man thrives in. Right? Thrives in this. Why? Because Genesis the third chapter of um, the first verse tells us the so-called white man deals with subtility, right? So he's not gonna overtly let you know his actions, he operates covertly, right? And and when people don't know what the hell is going on, that's sort of the best way for them to operate, right? Because you don't know, you don't truly know what the truth is, you know, unless you're there on the ground. Now, there's been a lot of disinformation. They're putting out a lot of propaganda. They're making them stories like the ghost of Kiev, talking about there's a, a Ukrainian fighter that's shooting down a uh, Russian jet, which is complete bullshit. Bro. I mean, the Russians have S-400. They'll wipe out uh, them Ukraine uh, aircrafts before they even take off the map, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's been come. It comes out that's that bullshit. They got um uh, videos of Zelensky on the front line of of the of the bridges. And look, he's he's saying the trenches. Then it comes out later that that video is a year old. You know, they have videos of oh see, Russia just bombed this building in, in Ukraine. And then you know you do some deep dip, uh, deep dive, and you find out that video is not even in Ukraine. All right, it was uh, I believe Israel uh, bombing Palestine. So they're playing with your mind, just like. Uh, was it a few a few uh, months ago? Every other thing on the news was an Edomite cop, a so-called white person killing a black a black man, right? And to the point that people from the outside world were protesting, thinking that at the moment a black man, a so-called black man, stepped outside, he was going to get gunned down. Which that's his fault. I mean, the data doesn't prove that. You know what I'm saying? It was just to give you that image, to give you that. You know, to put that image in your mind to trigger your emotions, and the same thing is being done now with this um, Ukraine Russia thing. I mean, they 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 telling people, to, um, you know the you know what the, the the version of the mask is now. Um, the version of that is having people put Ukrainian flag next to this shit on social media. You know, 
just a few months ago, you, you couldn't name a, a, a province in Ukraine. All of a sudden, you care about Ukraine. So they spin these particular narratives and trigger people emotions, and it's the same thing now. You know what I'm saying? The same thing they did back then. And you know what? I got, I got to meditating and thinking, man, because a so-called white man, hey, man, this man is, uh, he's just a murderer from the beginning. All he deals with is blood, right? Let's look at this, right? September 11th, right? It was the same thing. Mass panic, fear. They drove down airline stocks, and what they did, they buy up a whole bunch of airline stocks, and nobody believed we were going to fly again. You know what I'm saying? That same bankers' wars mentality of creating war, turmoil, fear, and chaos, so when people are in absolute fear, you buy up assets that they're most afraid of. 2008 with banks. And now they're doing this thing again with Russia. Now, the reason I believe that this thing is... Um, um, generating more towards making money than anything is because the simple fact World War III cannot happen now. We've been stretching it through the spirit because there has to be a pivotal prophecy before World War III. Now, World War III does involve the United States and Russia, all right? Scriptures in Ezekiel 37 chapter uh, lets us know about God and the you know, and the most I put hooks in their jaw. In, in, in other words, them uh, reestablishing the Soviet Union and going to war against the United States because in thought will be put in the mind of what whoever is leading Russia at the time this particular event takes place. All right, the pivotal prophecy that has to take place before World War Three, all right, is the R. Well, is the MOTB, all right, which is the CHIP. Okay, the RFID CHIP is the MOTB. We have to speak in code because you know, we're deletion of our channels. So if that cannot happen. Then what's some of the motives? Well, I was on one of these uh, brokerages, and guess what? They had I saw an article where U.S. politicians, all right, were buying up Russian stocks, just like how Jeff Bezos sold off all his his shit just before the pandemic. More shares than he did in 2019, and one he he sold off more shares in 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 one week than he did in all of 2019 because they have inside information. Guess what? You have U.S. politicians that are buying up Russian stocks, man. You see what I'm saying? So they they, they do these things, create these uh, 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 black swan sort of events, these crisis-like events, all right, to put fear in the people of the assets, the underlying asset that is affected by said black swan event, buy it up, and when they're ready, they just fix everything back to normal. And make a shit ton of money. It's sick and sadistic, and sadistic but the so-called white man is just all about greed. He already didn't have everything, right? Uh, I want to say this too concerning, um, you know, you know, you look up they saying you know we got sanctions on, on um, Russia and this that and the third. But when you look into it, that's mainly the United States and Canada. You know, the, the Russian war chest, chest all right, um, is well diversified. It's diversified in U.S. dollars. It's, divi it's diversified in yuan. Is diversified in um, gold, all right? So they don't just have the rubles, you know? You take their rubles, they could just buy back their rubles with different current assets that they have, you know what I'm saying? So they're well prepared, and guess what? 30% of the world's grain comes out of Russia. They, they, they're so stacked, all right? They, they're, the, they're the ones that get, um, give oil to, to mainly all of Europe, you know? So these sanctions on Russia can last, can't last forever because it will affect all of Europe, you see? Most of the world needs oil, okay? Oil is the most efficient form of energy, despite this bullshit that they're telling you about EVs and electrical vehicles. You can't trust nothing the so-called white man says. That, that shit just sounds good on paper, man, all right? But it's not a it's not an efficient form of energy, man. Even this dude, Elon Musk, he created the huge solar panels in, in um, he created those huge solar panels in, um, in California, just to ultimately have Tesla plug back into the grid, use oil, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it's just not enough power to run cities. You know what I'm saying? It just sounds good on paper. You need oil, man. Okay? Which, by the way, the Earth, the earth produces oil in abundance. Oil is not a scarce commodity. The so-called white man, uh, namely the Rockefellers, manipulated the, the price of oil. All right? They told you that it was a rare commodity. Right, but prior, prior to that narrative being out there, oil was pennies on a dollar, man. It was cheap. All right. The the, the, the whole oil narrative, if the old oil the, um, the oil narrative is no different than the diamond narrative. Okay. 
the earth produces an abundance of oil. It's not scarce. Now, if people want to know that, that would cripple a lot of businesses, right? So they'll have to create a monopoly on it, right? All right? There's a term for what they're doing. I just can't remember it right now. You know? But pretty much the gang... Oh, racketeering, pretty much. All right? When you have these corporations come together, you know, one, one corporation can't say, look, man, I'm going to charge $1 for oil because it's not really worth shit because all the other corporations... All right, we'll get burned on it. So what they do is they come together and say, look, all together, we're going to make the price this. We're going to make the price of gas this. That way we all eating and we all making money. But at the same time, all right, uh, none of us is going to come up with a price that's so cheap that it's going to put us out of, all out of business, man. So it's a racket that they're doing, man. But they'll legalize their version of a racket and call it OPEC. You know? So pretty much what's going on in Russia, it cannot be sustained, man, all right? You can't sustain sanctions on Russia, all right? Because, again, that would affect all of Europe, all right? Most of most of oil, Russia's responsible for most of oil, most of grains, grains to Brazil. I think 90% of the grains that Brazil gets come from Russia, you see? So they're well prepared, man. You've been putting sanctions on Russia since, what, the 70s, all right? And another thing, too, is Russia pretty much has control of Ukraine's version of the CIA since 1997, man. So this whole narrative of Russians wanting to kill Ukrainians is complete bullshit, man, because they see they see Ukrainians as Russians, man. That's how come they went in there softly. If the Russians must have really go in there on some real war type shit, it'll be a completely different, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a different type of time, man. Okay, because Vladimir Putin is trying to make it to where he don't want the people to go too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Here in New York, they're pretty much lifting everything or the man, everything that they didn't push. They 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 slowly easing off of it because they pretty much got their money now. All right. I wouldn't be too surprised if you see the same thing happen with this particular crisis. Because what happened? Just a few years ago, wasn't Omicron the, the craziest thing and whatever? Now you don't even hear about that. How come they're not showing you um, Edomite's killing Jake's anymore? Because after one crisis served its purpose, it's on to the next crisis, man. A lot of it is artificially manipulated, man. And then it's not until years later that you find out stuff like Pearl Harbor was, was an inside job, all right? September dot 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 was an inside job. And a lot of it, because the scripture says their tongue shall fall upon themselves, a lot of it is revealed either by former elite members of the so-called white man or just Edomites that do deep diving. Alright? That bring it back to light. Now we're in a, we're in a, we're in an age that's gonna come with a lot of disinformation. And soon, and eventually that this information will be geared towards the prophets of the Lord. All right? The stage is being set, all right? They already got agent provocateurs lined up. They already got false teachers lined up. There will be some sort of event when the Lord escalates this thing, mainly when the MOTB is heavy, all right? Well, don't be don't be surprised if the narrative is, if you got this Bible and you're teaching that you're an Israelite, you were this, you were that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to get to that point because it's not for the so-called white man to do that. We've seen this track history, man. You know? So that's what I was, you know, that's what I sort of wanted to bring out. This is very, this is very, this particular situation, it parallels the pandemic situation. It parallels September 11th situation. It parallels, um, hell, the 1913, all these particular, the 1913 uh, um, introduction of the Federal Reserve, pretty much you create this black swan sort of a, Black Swan type of event, all right? You buy, when there's blood in the streets, you buy the assets that the underlying said crisis affects, okay? What an asshole. You buy, you buy the, you buy, you buy the underlying asset that said crisis affects, okay? And then when you're ready, you know, you fix everything back up and leave the, 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 the the average investor, the average person, all right, financially fucked up, keep them poor, as well as uh, putting in dr uh, draconian measures because, you know, it's a, 
as their own so-called father says, out of the their tongue condemn them. All right, not I, as the book of Job said, your, your own tongue condemn thee, not me, right? When you give up your liberty for safety, you end up losing both, man. You know? Because cause guess what they're talking about now? Russian cyber attack. So don't be don't be surprised if they there is some sort of cyber attack. I've been saying this, I keep saying it. Don't be surprised if there's some sort of cyber attack or cyber threat, all right, on a global level, that all your assets, your house, your car, your bank account, all right, becomes infiltrated. And the only way to prove who you are, all right, to prove who you are to have your financial assets is to get a CHIP implanted in you, man. That's the only way we can prove who you are, all right? You have to be tied biometrically, biometrically to your um, assets, man. That's just one way they can bring it. All right, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rahak, Wadash, the blunts of the apostles and the elders, and bring those on true well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim, that do this in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.